Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. Please check Iraq latest news updates. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani on Wednesday affirmed his government's readiness to resume oil exports from the Kurdistan region and Kirkuk through the Turkish port of Siyan. In a speech he delivered during the Russian Energy Week forum in the presence of President Vladimir Putin, al-Sudani explained that exports through this route were halted due to a decision by the International Arbitration Court in Paris and the seismic-related repercussions. He noted that the pipeline is currently undergoing inspections and technical assessments by the Turkish side. He added that Turkey recently sent notice that the pipeline is ready for resumption, and that the Iraqi Federal Oil Ministry is in discussions with oil companies operating in the region. They are also in communication with the Ministry of Natural Resources in the Kurdistan region to reach a mutual agreement for the resumption of oil exports through this pipeline in accordance with OPEC Plus agreement. And Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sudani expressed appreciation for Iran's consistent supply of gas and electricity to Iraq despite financial dues exceeding 11 billion euros. Prime Minister al-Sudani's remarks came in a speech he delivered during the Russian Energy Week, a massive assembly hosted by President Vladimir Putin himself and attended by dozens of government representatives and energy companies from all over the world. The Prime Minister noted that the high demand, especially during the sweltering summer, has prompted gas-related investment projects in Iraq. He added that Iran has played a major role in addressing those needs throughout the years, despite more than 11 billion euros in unpaid dyes. Al-Sudani said Iraq has the capacity to become a prominent global supplier, reiterating his government's commitment to agreements at stroke with Total, and other Emirati and Chinese firms. This strategic approach aims to establish a self-sustained gas supply within three to five years, reducing the reliance on imports, he added. Al-Sudani announced that his government has launched the sixth licensing round for natural gas exploration in over 10 promising gas exploration sites. And on Wednesday, Iraqi President Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid received a letter from King Salman bin Abdulaziz of Saudi Arabia on Wednesday, reaffirming the kingdom's commitment to enhancing relations between the two nations. The letter was delivered during a meeting between President Rashid and the Saudi ambassador to Iraq, Abdulaziz al Shamari, at Baghdad Palace. In the message, King Salman expressed Saudi Arabia's earnest desire to strengthen ties with Iraq, aiming to serve the mutual interests of both brotherly nations. The king emphasized the importance of coordinating positions to address the region's challenges effectively. During their meeting, President Rashid highlighted the necessity of fortifying the relationship between Iraq and Saudi Arabia. He emphasized the need to expand avenues of constructive cooperation that would benefit both countries significantly. Ambassador al Shamari reiterated the kingdom's eagerness to enhance its relations with Iraq. He emphasized Saudi Arabia's commitment to supporting Iraq's security and stability, commending the positive developments Iraq is experiencing across various sectors. Thanks take care.